Hi, my name is Alexis Hernandez and I'm the Virtual Content Specialist for Social Studies grades K through 2 Special Ed. This is going to be a student facing video that will help first grade students working on Unit 1, Day 10. This will give them Venn diagram support before they go off to do their independent work. So again, it's for first grade students in Unit 1, Day 10. Hi guys. You've been working really hard on learning about families, different kinds of families, different kinds of cultures. And today we're gonna to do something really cool. Today, we're gonna to compare and contrast cultures. We're gonna think about how our family is similar and different to different families in different places all over the world. And we're gonna think about how things look in our house and how they look in different cultures around the world. And we'll think, how are they similar and different? And one way that we're gonna compare our families today is by using a Venn diagram. And this Venn diagram has two big circles on it. One big circle here, one big circle here, and then a part in the middle where the circles overlap. We're going to put things that are different on the sides and then things that are the same in the middle. And this will help us compare two things. How are they different on the sides and how are they the same in the middle? So let's give this a try. We're gonna start today by thinking about breakfast. What's breakfast like in your family? What do you make for breakfast? Where do you eat breakfast? What do you do during breakfast? Who helps you? Who doesn't help you? I want you to close your eyes for a moment and think about breakfast in your family. Okay, well, guess what? We're going to compare and contrast your breakfast or my breakfast with, are you ready for this? Breakfast in Japan. And Japan is a country in Asia, which is a totally different continent than us. So breakfast might look a little bit different. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to watch a little bit of a video about breakfast in Japan. And we're going to think, how is this breakfast similar or how is this breakfast different than our own? Ready? Here we go. This little girl is about to make breakfast, a Japanese breakfast. This is what Japanese breakfast is like. Mommy! Like now, my mom is making eggs and it's called tamagoyaki. Hmm, what's similar? What's no, different? Smash it and make it mushy. I never made one. I didn't know it takes a long time to mix it. This makes it a lot of time. That's not a lot of eggs. Wait, another tiny egg. You're doing softly. Mix it in the wooly. I think she has, there's a lot of pressure on her to make the best egg. She's getting nervous. Oh no. You put it again. And when you eat it, it goes in your mouth. So let's just stop there for a minute. We just watched a little girl start to make her own breakfast in Japan. How is that breakfast similar to ours? And how is it different? Well, hmm, I noticed that she was eating eggs. Give me a thumbs up if you've ever had eggs for breakfast before. Yeah, so it seems like eggs are a popular breakfast food in both places. So I'm gonna put that in the circle that overlaps because both the US and Japan 
eat eggs for breakfast. But hmm, there were some things that were different. I know that I normally eat my eggs with a, mm, a fork and maybe a spoon even. But that little girl, she was using what? Chopsticks, interesting. So look at this. For my breakfast, I use a fork and a spoon, but in Japan, you use chopsticks. So that goes in the Japanese side. And my breakfast where I use a fork and spoon goes in this side, but we both eat eggs. So that goes in the middle. Now, I know sometimes I need some help making breakfast and it looked like the little girl had help too. So maybe parents help. And that goes in the same circle, the overlapping circle, because parents help in Japan and other cultures and they help here too. So we can keep watching this video and track down more similarities and differences about breakfast in our culture and breakfast in Japan. But I wanna show you what you're going to do today for your independent work. When I share my screen, I'll show you the lesson plan for today. And you'll see that there's a few videos, the one we just watched together, another one about a girl in Brazil, and a third one about a girl in the Netherlands. Those are three different cultures, Japanese, Brazilian, and the Netherlands. You are going to pick one video to watch, and then you're going to use this graphic organizer to compare what you saw on the video to your own family culture. And you'll remember that you'll write down the differences on the outside and the things that are similar on the inside. So pick one video to watch. You can finish the breakfast video or watch one of the other two. And then you're gonna track down all the things that are different about your culture and that culture that you saw. And in the center, you'll write down all the things that are the same. And this Venn diagram will help us compare and contrast our culture to other cultures. Nice job, guys. Get to work.